welcome to this solution discussion segment presented by Zrust Oil and Gas. I am Kelly Baker and I've been with Zrust for more than eight years now. As you can imagine, we've been working with refineries, tank terminals, offshore rig, and platform operators, and of course, some of the largest pipeline owners and operators in the world. In this segment, I'm going to talk to you about the Zrust approach to preservation of pipelines in two scenarios. One, when a new pipeline has been hydro tested and is lying dormant prior to the line being commissioned. And two, when an existing pipeline is going to be shut down and mothballed. For new pipelines, some can be constructed, hydro tested and put into service very quickly. Depending on the source and the quality of the hydro test water, many companies work to have the line commissioned in less than 30 days after hydro test. For longer pipelines crossing multiple regulatory jurisdictions or even countries, this may be impossible. Or for pipe segments which are constructed first, commonly called pipeline pre-builds, such as station piping or long horizontally drilled sections under rivers or waterways, which then wait for the main line to be built and connected, these time periods may be extended by months or even years. Current protection methods after the hydro test include drying the line by using dewatering pigs, followed by swabbing pigs to remove as much water as possible. Final drying is typically accomplished by blowing dry air through the pipeline in order to achieve a minimal dew point, and then possibly purging with nitrogen. Depending on the pipe size, length, or the location, these efforts can be very expensive. Furthermore, there is always some residual water in the pipeline, typically in the low-lying areas, drain points, instrumentation ports, etc. Nitrogen does not penetrate this water and deal with the contaminants that may be present. For more than 10 years, owners have looked at inhibitors and biocides as one option to, to the use of inert gases and drying because of safety and expense. In 2012, paper was presented at the International Pipeline Conference, which looked at post hydro -dust pipeline inhibition treatment with data from work started in 2006. At NACE in 2018 in Phoenix, a paper looked at station piping using a new combination of vapor corrosion inhibitors, VCI, and soluble corrosion inhibitors, SCIX. VCIs are a chemistry that typically comes in a powder. They can be applied as a powder in some instances, such as inside the individual pipes prior to construction. In most cases, they are mixed with potable water and applied as a liquid. Much like an air freshener, the VCI chemistry wants to be a gas and will volatize from either the powder or a liquid into the vapor space. They equalize in the atmosphere based on their vapor pressure and then stop evolving until they are lost or depleted over time. These vapor molecules adsorb to the steel and take precedence, essentially blocking moisture and oxygen from the surface, resulting in little to no corrosion. SCIs are designed to be effective in liquid. They will neutralize contaminants such as chlorides, but they will also increase the pH of the liquid in an alkaline direction to somewhere between a 9.0 or 9.5 from a pH neutral environment. This change will neutralize any acids that may be present in the water. First application is in piggable line segments or spreads. These have ranged anywhere from one and a half up to 50 miles in length. The process is to launch a wiper pig the appropriate distance down a pipe from the launcher, then put the trailing pig or a filming pig into the launcher. Through a port in the top of the pipe, Inject the appropriate quantity and concentration of inhibitor solution between the pigs. The pigs are pushed with regular air and potable water is typically used for the solution. We have successfully pigged over 1,000 miles of pipeline using this approach for a major client in North America. The second application is for non-piggable lines, such as station piping. Typically, the hydro test water has been drained from these lines, but it is common for pockets of water to pool in low points. This hydro test water could be dried, if enough time and energy is used to do so, but in review of the NACE 2018 paper, it is clear that protection with VCIs is a much more cost-effective approach. For such projects, it's important to know the pipe sizes, length, and elevation changes 
because it's not usually necessary to fill the entire pipe volume. If the elevations are known, it's as simple as injecting a partial fill at the high points and let gravity move the inhibitor solution to the low points. Inhibitor will be deposited along the way with both VCI and SCI. These chemistries will then neutralize any contaminants in the pipe, bottom and water in the low points. A simple and quick approach with minimal cost and great effectiveness. There are some pipe sections where the best option is to simply fill the section and then leave the solution in place until the pipe is ready to commission. Pipeline pre-builds such as river crossings or some station piping often fit into this category. This ap application could also use the inhibited water as the hydro test water which would then be left in place till commissioning. Zira specifically designs the solution parameters for each pipeline as there is not a one-size-fits-all. But once inhibitor concentration is finalized, the quantity calculations and application are quite simple. Based on the total volume of liquid used, it has been as easy as mixing the components in totes or a vac truck. Once set up, the inhibitor injection can be staged in multiple batches if needed. If your pipeline is in a cold weather environment, we have also used propylene glycol to avoid freezing. Finally, some owners have old pipelines that need to be laid up or mothballed. In such cases, once the pipeline is emptied and cleaned, one of the above approaches can be used to ensure that corrosion inhibitors are inside the pipeline and will mitigate corrosion. Of course, we are asked many questions about an inhibitor approach to preserving pipelines and I'll try and answer the most common ones we hear. First question, how long would a VCI injection protect a pipeline? In a hermetically sealed environment, such as a pipeline, VCI and SCI will last for many years and probably much longer. Second question, what if the owner wants to use a biocide? CRUST has already worked with owners to identify some biocides that are compatible with our inhibitors. And we have a lot of flexibility in when, where, and how we can work with biocides if required. Third question, are there any HSE concerns using these inhibitors? ZRUST inhibitors are safe to use and have already passed HSE requirements on our projects. However, care should still be taken when mixing the powder with a liquid carrier as there can be a strong ammonia smell so a mask, goggles, and gloves are recommended. The lead HSE representative from ZRUST will work with you on your specific project needs. Question number four, how much does it cost? From the published client paper mentioned earlier, it's obvious that the application of VCIs is significantly less expensive than traditional methods of nitrogen purging, etc. However, a specific answer depends on some simple parameters such as, is the line piggable or not, diameter and length. Elevation changes may be a little harder to answer. A material es estimate can be completed usually the same day. Mixing equipment and labor are usually estimated by the pipeline contractor. Question 5. How do you determine how much inhibitor to use? The calculations are different for each application, but it's based on the volume of water used. In piggable pipelines, it is often the pigging contractor who will estimate the amount of liquid volume that will be left on the inner pipe surface based on the pig specifications. For non-piggable lines, it's a percentage of total volume adjusted for elevation changes. Question number six. What do you do with the residual inhibited water when the pipeline goes into service? Some liquid is expected to be in the pipeline at startup. This water is collected and drawn off for disposal. The HSE lead will determine the treatment, if any, before disposal. Bottom line, this is a quick, effective, and cost-efficient way of protecting pipeline internals. Thanks for watching this segment. Please watch other ZRUS segments on tank, pipe casing, equipment preservation, and other corrosion mitigation applications on our website at www.zrust-oilgas.com. 
please reach out to Zerust and see how we can help you with your corrosion mitigation needs. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.